Hey everyone, how are you doing? Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mayono PM461 S microphone condenser set. As you can see on the box, it comes with a pop filter and an arm, as well as a pretty interesting shock mount as well here. It is a USB mic and let's dive right in. As you can see, everything is well presented in the box. It was packaged in good quality foam, so it's well protected during delivery. It's come with everything you need to get started and going straight away. So if we take a look at the contents laid out on the table, we've got a boom arm. Looks like your standard boom arm, kind of cheap ones that you can get on Amazon. They do the job quite well, so long as it's a light microphone. Yeah. And it comes with a thread adapter as well, so always handy to have. Here we have the clamp as well. Um, this seems to be pretty sturdy as well, actually. That looks like your slightly better quality versions. Yeah, it does. This is padded on the bottom, so it shouldn't be damaging your table. And there seems to be quite a lot of flexibility, so you should be able to fit that onto most tables, I would think. One thing I like is that it's solid metal, so this does look like it would last at least, so that's good. Now, I'm really interested about the shock mount and the pop filter shock mount specifically it's all plastic with elastic bands by the looks of it but it's not your standard metal ones i mean this is much more low profile that would look quite nice in the shot it'd be interesting to test this and see how well it does reject the yes. um the bumps though because the uh elastic here is quite small it's so quite small and it's quite stiff so yes i'll we'll be quite see. interested to see we'll be giving that a test later yep and this one as well. This is a nice design. I like the aesthetic of it though. I do. Yeah, I think it looks really stylish. It's minimalist, it's stylish, and it's not it's not going to be too in your face, you know. And always handy to get some extra velcro straps. Finally, it looks like it's just a standard USB A to B cable. It means you can probably swap this out with any cable for whatever reason if you need to. Nothing proprietary there. Let's take a closer look at the microphone itself. Picking this up on first impressions, this is very light. So it's actually under 100 grams, only 97 grams. That doesn't completely surprise me. If you're planning to grab something like this and you want to put it on a boom arm, you want to perhaps stream to Twitch or even do podcasting at home. Mm -hmm. Or even if you're working from home and you just need like an office mic, basically. It's definitely going to be off-putting for some to have such a light microphone. We'll have to wait and see what it sounds like. The arm it came with, the standard boom arm, that will obviously hold this just fine because they can hold really light microphones. But I don't even need to test this. I know for certain there's no way this is going on to a more expensive more heavy duty boom arm not unless you were gonna go to the effort of tightening all the hinges loads it's also very small isn't it i love how small that is so let's have a look it's metal grill quite a sturdy grill quite a tight mesh so usually the mesh is a lot looser on on mics to let the air flow through Have a little bit of give on them but yeah i mean see how that picks up it's got its own gain button on the front there's a nice little bump right in the center point. I always like that with mics, so you know exactly oh, when you're good. hitting that middle point. No other markings, though, apart from the min and the max and the middle. So this gain knob appears to have a medium tension to it. There doesn't really appear to be any button wobble either. Oh, that's good. Unfortunately, there isn't uh, any mute button, although, of course, you can turn the gain down to zero if you do need to mute the microphone. Um, but it would have been nice to see perhaps have the ability to either press a button or maybe press the, the gain dial inwards. I've also noticed that there's no headphone out on this, so real-time monitoring is not possible, which may be a deal breaker for some people. I personally like to have uh, real-time monitoring. So assembly seemed pretty straightforward. Yeah, so the way the shock mount works is you actually screw the mic directly into the shock mount and then there's an adjustable ring at the bottom so you can 
place the mic angling whatever way you want and tightening it from there rather than having to spin the entire mic round, which is good. Now, as we mentioned, I really like the style of this shock mount. So let's just see how well it rejects those sounds when you accidentally knock the arm or tap the table. I do really like the windshield, to be fair. What I also like, I've noticed here as well, there is about an inch of space between the pop filter and the microphone, which is uh, also really good because it does encourage good microphone use. Mm -hmm. Good mic technique, yeah. It just kind of clamps on there. Stays on quite securely though. It's not going to fall off at all. And it's fully metal, apart from the strip. But yeah, I really like the design of that and it fits it perfectly. All right, let's put it to the test. From then on, every afternoon, as soon as her mother had left for the bingo, Matilda would toddle down to the library. The walk only took ten minutes, and this allowed her two glorious hours sitting quietly by herself in a cosy corner, devouring one book after another. When she had read every single children's book in the place, she started wandering in search of something else. From then on, every afternoon, as soon as her mother had left for the bingo, Matilda would toddle down to the library. The walk only took ten minutes, and this allowed her two glorious hours sitting quietly by herself in a cosy corner devouring one book after another. When she had read every single children's book in the place, she started wandering round in search of something else. I'll have pepperoni pizza and a bottle of soda, please. I'll have pepperoni pizza and a bottle of soda, please. So if we have a look at a few stats on the back of the box, the frequency response, it shows a fairly flat curve, actually. So I would expect this to have a very natural sound, I would say. It's not going to be bassy or particularly bright. There is a gentle roll off on the lower frequencies, everything below about 80 hertz, and it extends all the way from 20 hertz up to 20k. So that's the full range of human hearing. There is also a slight dip somewhere around 5, 6k, which should help with some of the sibilant frequencies as well. So now we're going to test the polar pattern on the microphone. It is cardioid, so we can expect some off axis coloration, uh, but and see how it does. All right, well, we've had a look at the microphone and all of the contents. So what were your opinions? It's a really clear sound. I like that it's not going too bright. Um, personally, I don't really like my voice. I think it's quite sibilant anyway, so I, I don't like it to be boosted in all the bright areas. So I think in that regards, it sounds really pleasant on the ears. The shock mount, it looks great. I, I like the design of it. I think they've stepped outside the box a little bit there and sort of gone for something a bit more modern looking and a little bit different. It's also the holder for the mic. But one final thought I would have, it's a very sleek looking microphone. Mm, yeah. And that's one thing that I do really like about these Mayono products is that they tend to produce stylish looking mm -hmm. equipment. It's not, no, there's nothing garish or... Yeah, they're very low key, quite minimalist looking. Yeah, and it looks professional mm -hmm. and it looks good, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. So at the time of recording, this microphone came in at about £50 and that's for the full set, so everything included. One thing that I think is definitely worth mentioning is that you don't need to spend a lot of money nowadays to get a decent sound into your computer for streaming or even podcasting either. 
and this microphone is a great example of that. So with everything you get in the box with it, it's really good value for money to be fair. So if you're looking to upgrade your microphone, perhaps from a headset one, then I would definitely say keep this as an option. It's competitively priced and it provides a decent sound quality as well. With very minimal effort in terms of setting up and just getting going and using it. So I'm going to say great job to Mayono. I think they've released a, a nice product here. Mayono did reach out to us to take a look at this microphone. They haven't had a chance to see this video before it went out. All opinions in this video are our own. And just like with every other video on this channel, we do encourage you to go and check out reviews from other sources as well, so that you may form your own opinions and decide for yourselves whether you think this is the right product for you. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do like what we're doing, drop us a like and subscribe. If you want to stop by our Twitch channel, you can watch us gaming on most nights. And we'll hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again. Oh, hello. What the f- Is there another one there? Ooh. Okay. Okay, Irish. All right, ace coming. Give me my ace. I didn't want to say that. Don't, don't give you pressure. Uh, no, I always like whenever I'm close to getting an ace, I always get thirsty and then you end up being reckless. Oh, come on, <laughs> big bad. That, why did you deny that ace like that? I wouldn't have got it. I was on the other side of the map. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got four of them? Yeah, in like 10 seconds. Nice. <laughs> they just rushed all in the same window.